Hey guys, it's Michael. So if you haven't heard by now, there's this girl named Asena O'Neill that is blowing up all over social media right now. Basically, she had this big Instagram account of like 500,000 followers and she would take those pictures like, you know, with her half naked on the beach all the time and doing yoga poses and whatever pictures those girls take. You know the ones I'm talking about. And her whole thing is that she did all this for likes and she was living a fake life and she was just seeking the approval of others and that ultimately she got everything that she thought she ever wanted and she was miserable. And at first when I'm reading this, I'm like, well, yeah, duh, everyone knows that you know, if you do things to try to get the approval of others, then it's always gonna leave you unhappy. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, wait, do other people even agree with what I'm saying or is it just me? Because if so, then why do accounts like hers have so many followers? And in her video, she talks about how when she was 12, she would idolize these girls and she just wanted to be like them and look like them. And then fast forward, now she does look like that and she has all the followers and everything and she's miserable, but now she herself has hundreds of thousands of other probably 12 year old girls following her, which draws me to the conclusion that if all these little girls now are wanting to be like her and she's miserable, then there's probably a lot of people in the world that aren't very happy. And so as someone who also makes a living off of social media, I wanted to let you guys know what makes me happy because it's not in the views or in the likes or any of that stuff. Now I'm gonna get preachy for a moment, so bear with me. Basically what I've concluded is that for me, it's knowing that I was created by a sovereign God of the universe for a purpose and that he loves me unconditionally no matter what I do forever and more perfectly than any human or random stranger on Instagram ever could. And if you don't know that or don't feel that, then I honestly don't know how you could be happy because that is where all of my joy comes from. That is the complete source of my joy. And for me, until you realize that, until you acknowledge that, then you will always be chasing a lesser happiness than what was intended for you. And it will leave you empty 100% of the time. If you don't believe me, just go ask this girl. She chased all the things she ever wanted and she got all of them and she was still miserable. This is because we live in a broken world full of broken people and you can't take broken people and broken things and put them together and make a complete you. You can only make a more broken you. If you wanna be made complete, stop looking at broken things. Broken things don't make complete things. Even if you super glue them together, I know you guys are thinking, oh, I could super glue things. It's not the same. And this world is full of broken things that promise you happiness. Money, fame, followers, drugs, all kinds of stuff. But these are just cheap imitations that the world has created for us and they keep trying to ram it down our throats and it keeps making us unhappy all the time. Happiness does not come from things that you get. Happiness comes from within. If you're not happy right now, then getting something is not gonna make you happy because you're not a happy person. You don't have the joy, you don't have the happiness in here and it comes from here, it doesn't come from out there. So if you don't have it in here, you're not gonna find it out there because it's not out there. It's here, it's inside of here, right here in your neck area actually I don't know it could be up here it could be over here I don't know how it works I don't know where the happiness center is it's the reason that you see all these movie stars who have all the fame and fortune losing their minds and overdosing on drugs and doing crazy things they've gotten everything that the world could offer them and they still are not happy money fame all of these things are just fleeting glimpses of the true happiness that was intended for us and when we chase these things just like her we chase them and chase them and we don't understand why every time we get something that we thought we wanted it feels good for a second and then it just goes away and it doesn't really bring you happiness. It's just like a moment. And then you're like, I thought that was gonna make me happy, why? Now I don't speak about my faith much on social media because I know it's a sensitive subject, but I hope this resonates with somebody out there because I've been unhappy before and I've been looking in all the wrong places and doing all the wrong things and I've been left empty. And so I want you to know that you are fully loved, eternally, unconditionally by the God of the universe. And he'll always be there for you he wants to help you out and he wants to bring you joy and he wants to show you how to be happy. This is the world. I'm doing the world. And if you let Jesus make you whole, it doesn't matter what people say, how people try to put you down, what other people think because you are now a complete, complete person in the world. Complete. This is the world and you're complete in it. You're not these broken pieces trying to do, here's money, this is a broken thing. Here's me, this is a broken thing. Maybe we'll make a whole thing. No, that won't make you a whole thing but Jesus will make you a whole thing and then you'll be happy and all these other things don't matter and you'll just be happy and it'll be awesome. All kinds of people on this earth will tell you they love you and they will let you down all the time because that's just what people do because we're people and we're broken. We're not perfect, 
God is perfect. He makes everything perfect. He makes everything whole. He makes everything new. It's like a whole new world, just like Aladdin. You don't have to see the world through these broken eyes anymore. Like, oh no, what should I do? Should I be showing off this to get that? Should I be doing this to get that? Because you don't need those eyes anymore. You get new eyeballs. You don't literally get new eyeballs, but you see things differently. And now I just want to leave you with Colossians 3.23, which I think is awesome. It says, whatever you do, do it with all your heart unto the Lord, not unto man not unto man because i promise you the second you start working to please other humans is the second that your joy will be gone and i want all of you guys to have the joy that i have found because it's awesome anyway jesus loves you he's got the joy he wants you to have the joy go out and ask him for the joy and let him give you the joy and stop looking at broken things that's all i got see you later